Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am gonna do a full day of eating in a grocery haul. So right now I'm at Whole Foods. I'm going to get groceries and then with those groceries I'm gonna do a full day of eating and then I've also created a downloadable PDF of all of this for free. Like I'm just gonna give a grocery list, grocery tips, and then the recipes that I've created or will create today with the, those groceries. So, if you're excited, keep watching. Um, I am really excited to do this because not only do I get to make some bomb food, but you guys get to too. So, let's go grocery shopping. Hey guys, so I'm back from Whole Foods and Target and I'm going to do a little grocery haul now. Um, it's like the morning, but it is just absolutely dreary out and the lighting's really awful. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm doing a shoot for um, Whole Foods and so I'm currently in like the setup of that and I'll show you that and everything I got. Um, it's like this fruit platter with chia seed pudding. Uh, it looks really, really good so I'll show you that but I'll show you the other things I got as well. Um, this day kind of slipped away so I'm gonna do a full day of eating tomorrow with all of this food but I'm going to show you it now. So I always get coffee. Um, we have an espresso machine, but you have to go to like a specific Nespresso store or order it online to get it. And we're just out at the very moment. So I got some coffee, of course. I got these aloe vera um, waters. They have real pop of aloe vera in them. I've talked about these before, like a really long time ago, but um, aloe vera is super good for your skin. It's super nourishing. Um, it's actually really good for digestion as well. If you're feeling like blocked up or you're feeling bloated or whatever, this is, um, this like always makes my stomach feel so much better when I drink this. I'm um, just drinking like aloe vera, anything in general. You could just get plain aloe vera water. Um, that's really good for digestion. I got a, um, two papayas and three mangoes. And I got some lime. And I got my favorite protein bars, Go Macro. I've talked about these like a million times. Um, and I've got bananas for uh, smoothies and like muffins and stuff. Then these were on sale, two for six. This is pasta uh, made from chickpeas. So the ingredients are chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein. And that's it. <laughs> Um, these are really good and I have some pesto I bought the other day that I'm going to put with that and make like something tasty. Um, I've got some bean and corn salsa. This is my like current favorite salsa um, at Whole Foods right now. And then I've got some regular chickpeas, garbanzo beans, and black beans. Those are going to be going in my food tomorrow as well. And some green chilies. Um, those are also going into my food. Then I got some four avocados. These were on sale, so I got four. Some lemon for lemon water in the morning, and then also like salad dressing. And then a couple of sweet potatoes for the sweet potato nachos. Okay, so that's just a little bit. And then I went to Target, and they're out of my favorite creamer. Um, I get the Silk Almond Milk Creamer, but they were out. I'm trying this. Um, Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer. And I got a couple oranges. The other one is in the picture. I got a thing of strawberry. I'm gonna show you my mess here. So I was like creating the photo and stuff. So um, this was some dark chocolate that I got for the photo. Not just for the photo, I'm obviously gonna eat it. <laughs> um, raspberries and strawberries. And these are my other mangoes. And then in the fridge, like some staples that we always have, like we always have eggs. This is hemp seeds, Ezekiel toast, um, corn tortillas. John really likes these. I mean, I like them too, but I try and limit them. Then we pick up like, this is chicken from Whole Foods already um, seasoned. So rosemary and garlic chicken breasts, um, some cilantro. Back here I have peppers, tomato sauce, and pesto. Um, just some more like this is a hummus and this is um, like a cashew cheese thing <laughs> this is goat cheese I'm gonna put this on the sweet potato nachos tomorrow sprinkled on top it's really good and this is just leftover stuff this is some chicken breakfast sausage just for the morning like on the weekends when we have more time and, ow oh that hurt it just fell on my toe what the heck Okay, I got arugula, 
some romaine and spinach for the salads tomorrow. And then as well as, as some um, peeled and deveined shrimp. And then my almond milk, I got cucumbers, ginger, honey mustard, whatever. So that's kind of a little fridge tour slash grocery haul. Um, when I was at Target, I also got strawberry sparkling water. This is the Bubbly brand. I really like their strawberry flavor. And then as well as the Target brand, Simply Balanced. Um, actually, I don't know, is this the Target brand? I only can find this at Target, so I'm assuming that it is. But this is the watermelon flavor. And if you guys don't already know, I love to mix my watermelon sparkling water with my watermelon BCAs. And it's sparkling watermelon. BCAs. It's like the best stinking thing in the world. I've always talked about these one up. Nutrition watermelon BCAs mixed with like a little bit of regular water and then the rest sparkling water and ice. You shake that. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, let's go upstairs now and I'm going to show you my little creation that I'm doing for Whole Foods. So this is all of my um, papaya, orange, watermelon, I mean you guys can see, and then I added some chia seed pudding and um, did a little bit of chocolate shaving on top and chocolate and oh, that looks so good. That was my grocery haul today. Tomorrow I have a full day, hello, where'd I go? Oh, tomorrow I have a full day of eating plan. It's gonna be really good, so it's a whole day for me but it's about 30 seconds for you until I get started. So um, again, all of this grocery haul, not all of this fruit and everything, but the grocery haul for the recipes will all be listed in a PDF plus tips, plus all the recipes I make tomorrow. And that's just a free download I wanna give to you guys. So I hope you like it. And I will see you guys tomorrow at breakfast. For my breakfast today, I just thought I would take the fruit that I had left over from the picture and make a smoothie bowl. So I'm starting with a half of an orange here. Um, I'm going to use a full orange in total, but I'm just using the juice, so I'm just going to squeeze the pulp out of that. And then I'm going to use half of papaya. And um, I understand that not everyone has access to the tropical fruits like mangoes and papaya, but you can access a lot of these frozen, which is nice. So if that's just as good, if not better, actually, for a smoothie bowl because then you get the texture from the ice and everything to make it thick. Um, but I'm just doing a half of a fresh papaya here. And if you do have it fresh, great. If not, that's totally fine. You could substitute it for whatever fruit you enjoy. But papaya out of the tropical fruits is probably the least um, sugar content. Like, it doesn't have as much sugar as probably a mango does, but I'm just adding a little bit of the mango, probably a half in total. And then I'm just gonna throw in some raspberries just for fun. Um, you could definitely do strawberries as well, but I'm gonna save the strawberries to kind of dip into the smoothie bowl afterwards. So I'm gonna use some strawberries. And then um, I obviously wanna add protein to this smoothie because I want, in the morning you should definitely have protein to help rebuild muscles and everything from the night before. So um, I am using this collagen peptide. It's not flavored, so I don't have any have to worry about that and then this bone broth protein which is extremely great it's paleo friendly and that also doesn't have flavor so 
I don't have to compromise any like vanilla or chocolate flavor with my fruit, which I personally just don't really enjoy. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds, maybe like, I don't know, that was probably half a teaspoon or so. And the real thing that makes this smoothie great is the coconut milk, um, canned coconut milk, preferably because it is just really natural, um, no preservatives or anything. A little bit of water there, but the coconut milk just makes it so, it makes it a little bit sweeter because the fruit, to be honest, wasn't exactly the sweetest in Minnesota. Even if I'm getting it fresh, doesn't mean that it's, you know, the ripest. Um, but the coconut milk really makes this. So I just topped it off with some more strawberries to dip in and raspberries and a little bit of chia seeds and I called it a day. Definitely don't be afraid of fruit. A lot of people always say how there's so much sugar and yes, there's sugar in fruit, but it's natural sugar and it has a lot of more benefits like antioxidants and things that your body does need. So just don't be afraid of fruit. Um, it's really good carbs in the morning. And then for lunch, I'm just having this shrimp salad. So what I'm doing here is I'm warming up some ghee, which is clarified butter, so it doesn't have any lactose in it. And I'm warming that up in a pan and then sauteing my shrimp in there. And I feel like the ghee gives it just a really good flavor as well. Um, you could use olive oil or whatever you prefer, but the ghee just really makes it, I don't know, just makes it a little bit better. And then I made this a spicy shrimp salad, so I'm adding like chili powder, a little cumin, a little cayenne, and just, I didn't really, um, I again, I put the measurements in the PDF below, but I, I kind of eyeballed it to be honest. So just put whatever that you feel you would like and you don't have to do uh, spicy either like if you want to do like a rosemary and garlic that would be really good because that goes really well with ghee uh, so yeah you could try that too just kind of do it as your preference and to make the salad I just have some fresh romaine here and I'm gonna chop it up get rid of the ends because those are just not I mean that's like water it doesn't it's just gross uh, so romaine and then fresh baby spinach and the key to like a really great salad, I feel, is chopping it up. So I'm taking a kitchen scissors here and I'm just gonna chop it up until it's very, very easy to eat. Um, that makes it more enjoyable for me when I can stir everything together and there's not just a huge like spinach piece sticking out of my mouth when I take a bite. Like I just want everything to be in one bite and this is just much easier to eat. And then um, you could add what I, obviously a regular cucumber, but I just had these mini cukes, so I'm gonna chop one of these up um, into bite-sized pieces. And no salad is complete without fresh avocado. I'm gonna do a half of an avocado for lunch, probably the other half at dinner, maybe not, maybe, not sure yet. But um, I forgot to mention as well, for breakfast, I did not have that whole smoothie, like I didn't drink that entire thing. I shared that with John, so just again, like I'm not having the entire fruit and whatever else. Anyway, um, I'm adding the shrimp, avocado, and then I add a little bit of black beans, like a couple tablespoons or so, and I top it off with some fresh goat cheese, which I just had in the fridge, I don't know why, and it was just delicious. The vinaigrette I made for this will be in the PDF link down below. Then I had a little bit of strawberry bubbly, and that was it. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym. Um, I This video is already getting kind of long, so I'm just gonna make, I'm actually not craving that sweet potato nachos, but I am gonna put that recipe in the PDF so you guys have that as well. But tonight I'm just gonna make pasta. I just got done with my workout. My lunch was around like 1.45 and it's 6.15 now, so I'm starving. And um, after a workout, I'm just always like, uh, like hungry. Um, so I'm gonna make some of this pasta while this boils. Um, I was gonna make chicken in the air fryer. I was gonna show you guys the air fryer. This thing is like the greatest invention ever, I think. I was gonna make chicken in there, but John must have eaten that yesterday. So I think I'm gonna cook up the rest of that shrimp. I got a pound at the store. So I used half a pound for our lunch and I'll just use the rest for dinner. And I'm gonna mix that with the noodles and pesto. I got this pesto at, it's just traditional basil pesto. I got it at Kowalski's, which is a grocery store in Minneapolis. So um, they make it in house, but yeah, any pesto will work. I even have like a homemade avocado 
pesto on my blog, which is really, really yummy too. So that would be good. But I'm just gonna use this stuff, warm it up with some pasta and shrimp, and I will show you guys the end result. Well, my mouth is officially watering, and I need to eat this ASAP. Okay. I've been pretty good about not eating after dinner. Um, not that it's bad to eat after dinner, like to have a little something later on, but I try and get enough at dinner time that I'm satisfied for the rest of the night. And I might have like another thing of BCAs um, or like a, another sparkling water, which is carbonated, so it fills up my stomach. Um, but yeah, my workout was pretty hard, so this is like really good carbs and protein for that. And I'm really excited, my mouth is watering. <laughs> I hope you download that PDF in the description. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.